Hey, it's Keegan here. In this Greenhouse Academy video, we're going to take a look at setting up categories and products in your online store. So once you uh, log into your administration panel, you can get to your categories by going to products and categories from the top menu. Categories is how you group and organize the products in your online store. And the first thing you'll notice here with the demo categories we've got uh, is that you can actually have a hierarchy of categories. So you can have categories inside other categories. For instance, in this example, we've got electronics, which is what we call a root level category or top level category. But then inside that, we've got another category called computers. And then inside that, we've got desktops, laptops, tablets, monitors, so on and so forth. You can use these little uh, plus and minus buttons here to expand or collapse these categories if you don't want to see them. We'll come to the top of the page and click add category up here. Type in the name for the category in the name box. So we'll call it shoes. And then pick a location for the category. By default, it's set to root level, which means it's going to be a root level category. But you can also put it inside another category. So for instance, with shoes, we might put it in apparel. Now, these categories are obviously specific to this demo store we've got here. Yours are going to be completely different. Then we come down and click create and close. But in this instance, I've already got this uh, pro, uh, category set up, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, to get to your products list, click products and products at the top of the screen. This takes you to the list of all the products in your online store. You can search for products. You can search for a product name, a price range, or by category. We're going to add a new product by clicking Add Product at the top right of the page. First thing we do in the name box is type in the name of the product as it's going to be displayed to your customers. So we're going to call it Red Vans Shoes. Now we have to add it to categories. So click the Add Categories link here and you'll get this little screen pops up which shows you all the categories in your online store. Every product has to have at least one category, but the cool thing is you can have multiple categories for one product. So we're adding a pair of shoes, so I'll come down here to apparel. Uh, obviously I want to put it in the shoes category, so I'm going to do that by clicking this checkbox over here on the left. But let's say I also want it to appear in men's clothing, so I can come up and check that one as well. And maybe apparel, if someone just goes to apparel, they're not specifically looking for shoes, but I want them to see this product anyway, I'll click that one as well. So then we go down to add categories and clothes. And now you see the categories have appeared there. Now we set the price for the product. This is what the customer pays. So we'll say $40. Enter a description. Uh, it's worth noting as well, the description uh, can contain HTML, so you can have um, different size text, you can put pictures in here, any kind of stuff. Uh, so then we go to the status, so you've got three different options here, and you'll see these options quite a lot in your online store, active, hidden, and disabled. Active means the product is online, it's ready to be purchased. Hidden means it can be purchased if the customer has the direct link to the product. It's not going to show up when the customer is browsing your store. But if they have the link, they can still buy it. Disabled means even if they have the link, they won't be able to buy the product. It can't go through the checkout, so to speak. We're going to set it to active. Now, this is where we upload the main image. You can have multiple images, but this is just going to be the main one that's used to represent the product. Whenever CS Card asks you for an image, you're going to see these three options here, local, server, or URL. If you want to upload an image from your computer, which is the most common option, click local, and you'll be asked to browse for where the picture is on your computer. So I've got a picture of these red vans I'm going to upload here. Uh, now I'm going to come down and click on create. So it's going to create the product, but it's not going to take me back to the product list. It's going to keep me here so I can keep making some more changes. So you'll see it's added my picture there. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. There's a lot of options which can be quite daunting, but we're just going to look at a couple of them. Product code is uh, pretty handy to use. You don't have to have a product code, but if you have a retail store and you have an inventory tracking system, that might come in handy if you want to have a sort of reference. Uh, also, it can be quite uh, handy for just quickly finding products. So we're going to call it Vans1. Uh, going to come down to In Stock. This is how many of the product you've got in stock if you're tracking inventory. So I'm going to say we've got uh, 12 of those in stock. And then I'm going to come down here and check GST to make sure that we're charging GST for this product. Really important that you don't skip over that because it can be quite easy to miss. And if you don't check that box, then the customer isn't going to be charged GST. And GST is not going to appear on their invoice, which is going to cause you some uh, accounting problems. So then we'll click Save and Close, which saves all the changes I made to the product and takes me back to the product list and tells me my changes have been saved. Now if we go to the storefront, go to apparel and shoes, and there we go, the red vans that I've added. 
with the description and the picture and the price.